Hi, I'm Ilke and this is my boyfriend Jared. We've just completed a full year of traveling the world full time as digital nomads. We started off in Ukraine in winter, did summer in Turkey, North Macedonia, Montenegro, Albania and then stopped back home in Cape Town, South Africa to swap clothes for winter. Then we headed out to Doha, did winter in Georgia where we learned to ski for the first time, continued the season in Turkey and Armenia and now we are headed on our way back home to spend time with friends and family and swapping our clothes for the summer season again. Come join us in Cape Town, South Africa as we prep and plan for the next trip and enjoy the most beautiful place in the world. But what would traveling be without some airport drama first? We got to the airport at 1.30, finally get to check in. No, I don't have a ticket. I changed on the app, it said payment went through. Got gotcha. you. Trying to find me another ticket, but now they're putting me on a flight that's like has a 24 hour, hour layover in Doha for two nights without sleep. It is 6 30 a.m. Pulled on high school nighter. I've slept on the plane a few times though, but it's such a short flight. Jared went to go see if we can change my ticket or his ticket or somebody's ticket. on the same flight as Jared. We're flying now. 7 a.m., 6 a.m., I don't know what the time is. Also, I was worried that my luggage might not get to the right place. They were like, we're gonna fly. And then there was like four bags coming. They're like, wait, we have four more bags being loaded. And one of them was mine. <clears throat> we're not sitting by each other. Jared's like in the front, I'm in the back, and it's a big thing. I think I have the whole road to myself. Lucky girl. You can actually move it by sleep. The best flight is the flight where you can sleep. It's been so nice. I slept so well actually. Jared is also sleeping. I went there twice to sit with him when he's been sleeping. Comfy. We made it back to home so. Safely in Johannesburg, South Africa. We got our bags. Yay! It's so weird. Like in other countries, I have no problem pulling out my camera and gimbal in a lounge and filming it. No problem walking into malls with my camera and, and filming stuff. But in your own country, it's weird. Like, I feel very weird filming in here. In your abs. South Africa's food is just amazing. The wine. And this wraps. The wrap was so good. And the salad was so good. We have really nice salads and wraps in South Africa. Good to be back in Town Cape Town. What's happening? You said Turkey. No, Cape Town. Good to be back. So we made it safely to Cape Town and Cape Town is amazing. We came back earlier because Jared had a work thing this weekend. So we're staying with people from there that's working on the venture in Camps Bay. I feel like I'm in one of those tech houses. Very smart people. So Camps Bay is basically almost in the city center of Cape Town. You get like Seapoint and Camps Bay, Clifton. It's like all the really nice beach areas. Very fancy, this house is insane. It has so many rooms and yeah. We are dead. I have raccoon eyes. I probably won't be filming much the next few days because it's like a work thing for Jared, so I don't want to be in like yeah. Go for a quick morning run and after work I'm quite tired. I have become a professional workout anywhere person. <laughs> Literally, if there's a road, then I run. And if there's like any sort of open space like this, then I tailor or I YouTube abs and stuff. This is where I'll be working from. I can work from here every day, not bad. We went for a quick Saturday morning walkie to the beach, Hampstead Beach. Home. 
Yeah. Isn't it pretty? We haven't made bacon in like probably like almost six months. Bacon. Bacon! And French toast. Also probably haven't made it in like six months. It's weird, you don't get like normal breakfast that you would usually eat in a lot of countries. So we're staying at my best friend's house in Ops. They bought a big house. Very impressive as young people. When back home, our schedule is pretty packed and planned well in advance to make sure we get to see everyone and get all the doctor appointments, visas, passports, and we usually stay with friends and family because we still work full time in the week. So it enables us to spend as much as possible free time with them. It's just really nice being home. Like feeling familiar, you know, knowing the neighbors, knowing the streets, walking into a shop, you know, people, you know, the language, you feel like home, you know, this is home. You speak the local language, you know, the local people, you know, the streets. <sighs> There's no place like home. Then it was time to surprise my mom for her birthday. They didn't know that we're coming home earlier. There's no one here. Happy birthday! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There is really nothing like being home. I do not know how I'm supposed to work it on. Supposed to get work done with this kid on my hand. Hmm? Hi! Hi, Baba! Hey! Oh, so nice kaiki! The last time we stayed here, my brother just brought, bought the house over from my parents and he started renovating, so it was a mess. He only had this movie room. This movie room was like kind of ready. Um, six months later, he is still renovating. It's going a bit better, piece by piece, but it's a construction site. <laughs> It's good to be back in like childhood home home. It's so nice to be able to run like an old regular route. Haven't run this route in like five years probably. Ah, look how big it is! Look how big it is, Vicky! Hey! Then we spend some time with Jared's family on the east coast in Hermanus. Back to Langerbahn with friends. So there's a really awesome animal shelter here in Langerbahn and they have this really cool initiative that you can take all clothes or all things there and then they sell it and then they use that money for the food and supplies for the animals in the shelter. was saying that they're open six days a week for stuff to come in. They have about 60 animals in welfare that they feed and the hospital bill is about 50,000 rand a month. The rent to keep the animals in this place is 15,000 rand a month. So they really need a lot of help and they're so grateful for everything. If you have any old clothes or money you'd like to donate, you can go to this link in the description and on the screen to help the stray animals in Langerbahn. For every new subscriber to this channel, we also donate a meal for a stray animal. So, please subscribe. We've been home, 
It's been amazing. I do not know how I'm gonna say bye to my cat. We've been staying with my parents for a bit, for almost two weeks, and it's been, oh, the best. When we traveled for the first time, like when we did our first six month stint, we had one big bag, one medium bag, two carry-ons and two backpacks. Now we're doing Southeast Asia and we're like, it's too much stuff. So now we're going to do one medium bag, two carry-ons and two backpacks. So Darren and I are sharing a medium bag. This is basically my clothes now. I'm going to add a few more. So my strategy here really just is making a pile, making it smaller, making a pile, making it smaller. Also, since our previous trip, I've started using packing cubes. I like them. I think you can pack less stuff with them because it's you can't just like pop stuff in smaller spaces. They force you to pack less and it helps be more organized. You don't have to unpack all your stuff. You can just unpack the cubes, which is really nice. So I'm liking them, but they don't help to save space. So we are staying with our friends Dene and Kia in Piquetar for a weekend. The place that we just got into is amazing. The views are so nice and there's a jacuzzi and yeah, it's awesome. So if it's cold, you can swim in the jacuzzi and if it's hot, you can swim in the pool and it has an amazing view and there's fans and there's a breeze. I had to say goodbye to my parents today and me love me. Cried in the car, it was so nice. It's very hard to say bye. So there's actually three things we're doing differently this time. We are packing and taking away less stuff. We haven't booked many accommodation. We have accommodation for the first night because we had to book it because of the Thailand pass um, for the Shah Plus designated government hotel thing. Um, and then I'm decanting stuff. Because we're taking so little stuff, my toiletries are just heavy and taking so much space. Oh, and Jared and I are sharing a toiletry bag, basically. Um, minimal living here. Um, yeah, so I'm decanting stuff. So yeah, I've been I've been decanting like purple shampoo and conditioner, and yeah, it's a bit messy. I have to wash this stuff. So this is Buddha wash, by the way. Like, and I've had this since like 2008. So that's like 14 years that I've been traveling with this. So tomorrow evening we are off to Phuket. <laughs> So it's about a 30 hour travel day. We are leaving Cape Town at like 7.30 p.m. Getting to Doha at like 6 a.m. Then we are going out to, on a dune tour for the day. And then we're leaving again at like 7.30 p.m. 8 p.m. And then we're going to Phuket. And it has been amazing being home. Um, yeah, it's been so nice. We did PCR test yesterday. We had to get a Thailand pass. Which we needed a, which we needed to book a PCR test for when we get there, and uh, I have to pack. I'm tired. It's been a busy few weeks of work and stuff. Um, I'm seeing friends and family and planning everything. Um, but I have to pack tonight because tomorrow's a busy day. Even though we're flying at night, it's no time to pack tomorrow. Um, yeah. So yeah. I wish I was better with filming and taking photos back home. But we never really do that when with friends and family because we just try and suck up as much as the precious time we can with them and we just so in the moment that I don't even think about it. Join us in the next video as we start our 6 month Southeast Asia adventure. But first we stop off in Doha and spend the day on the dunes and riding some camels. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.